Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Com 101. I am your professor. Uh, professor D is what I prefer to go by. Uh, you'll see my photo uh, there with my pit bull, but I just want to kind of welcome you to class, give you a sense of kind of what's going on. Um, how long have I been a teacher? This has been my first full year teaching, and this is going to be my first full online class. The good news is uh, this class was actually created by a coworker, uh, Amy McPherson, Professor McPherson, made it. So in some of the videos that describe the class and how the class works, you're going to be hearing her voice, not mine, because she designed the course. But I am your instructor. I'm the person that's going to be grading everything as far as uh, uploading all the stuff that you need to know. I'll be the person that gives you the feedback on stuff. What do I need to see as far as like what you need to do to make me happy? Um, so what I need from you as a student is evidence. I need evidence and proof you know. And this class is going to go really fast. Five weeks is a very short time frame to get in a five, uh, three credit course. So you can expect to do a lot of work every day as far as discussion boards, assignments, uh, making sure that you're learning the information off the slides, the things that I embed in the modules area. Modules is gonna be the place you kinda wanna work through the class linearly. Uh, the good news is I try to keep everything unlocked for you. So if you do wanna try to go through the class faster than just the due dates set, that is something that I allow for. Um, I will be trying to keep up on grading as best as possible, but I do need to warn you that the final full week of June, I am gonna be online only intermittently. You're gonna be working on some group projects at the time and don't worry, you'll understand what that means when we get there. Uh, so I want you to know that um, I won't be on as much, but I will be checking in probably every 24 to 48 hours at that point in time. And then I'll be back at the end of that weekend. Um, you'll I'll pretty much be hot and heavy for the through the end of the course on uh, July 1st. So you can expect me there. Um, we also have a course assistant, and I'm going to make sure that she gets her video uploaded and welcomes herself to you. She is a student success specialist, and her name is Jamia Jones. She appreciates usually being known as Mia specifically. And so uh, know that we have her as a resource that's available. She'll be talking to you in your discussion boards as well as me. And she is there if you want to turn in your assignments early and have her look that stuff over. She will look that stuff over for you, suggest any changes that hopefully help you get a better grade in the class. Uh, as of right now, there's not a lot of people in the class. So uh, small groups work is probably going to be maybe four and four uh, is what I'm looking at. Again, I've been a teacher for about a year and a half now, and I'm excited to be able to deliver my first online course to you. Uh, my background as a student, I went to the University of Minnesota, and I got my, my bachelor's degree in communication there. Uh, I finished that in about 1998. I know some of you are like, what? I wasn't even born yet. Uh, so I've been around a little bit uh, of a while. I got my master's degree at ASU West in communication studies, and there was an emphasis in advocacy in using our communication for others. Um, part of the reason why I became a teacher is because I feel like communication is a means in which we can become better people. Uh, when we're better people for ourselves, then we can communicate how to be better people for others. And then we can start communicating how we can change the world in a positive way to make a difference for the folks around us. So I believe communication is a ways and means to make a difference in the world, to make a difference not just for me, not just for you, but hopefully for the world. And I'm excited about that concept and idea. So as far as COM 100, COM 100 is a general overview of basically all things communication. And so when we're looking at COM 100, we're going to be learning about interpersonal, intercultural. We're going to be learning about intrapersonal. We're going to be learning models of communication, how different models of communication work. Uh, what does it look like when we're doing communication? What are the things that get away in communication? Uh, so it's a neat course because it's a big buffet of a lot of different things and it helps you get a sense of what you're maybe most interested in in communication. So for example, for me, things I'm most interested in are uh, intercultural communication as well as interpersonal communication. I like interpersonal communication because this is how we talk to the people we care about the most in the world. And I'm looking at potentially teaching an online COM 110 interpersonal communication starting in the fall. I'll be doing three sections of interpersonal and two in public speaking. Uh, I like public speaking a lot as well. I am a paid public speaker and I go around and talk about issues such as leadership, diversity, uh, how to get along better, how to uh, talk better for other folks, how do we communicate better and more clearly with one another. So I'm a paid speaker and I get to fly around the country doing that from time to time, which is a big joy of mine. So I'm really good at public speaking and I like teaching public speaking because I like to see you all get better at communicating messages calm and confidently. And uh, I feel like being calm, confident, competent communicators is really what we need. And if we can just respect each other as calm, confident, and competent communicators, we can make the world a better place.
Uh, so that's me in a just in a nutshell. Um, in my personal life, uh, I'm going to be doing service at a diversity camp that last week of June. I believe in service, and I like doing service a lot. I feel like service is an opportunity to make ourselves better people. Um, I have pit bulls and rescue pit bulls. You'll see a picture of Bandit, my first pit bull that I rescued. And then Tank, uh, he is here around in the house. I don't know if he's going to stop by because my partner's eating right now. But uh, he sometimes will make appearances and videos or, pod or blogs that I do for you too. Um, I like to work out a lot. I like to meditate. I feel like meditation is a good way to pause and collect ourselves before we just react to something, before we just respond to something, so we can have thoughtful, intelligent responses that help us be better people. And um, like I said, in the class, uh, I'm here. Me is here. We're here to serve you. We want to help you somehow become a little bit better of a person at the end of this course in understanding how communication works and how to communicate better with other people. And we will be having you do a public speech at the end of the class, so know that that is going to be one of the things we finish the semester with. You're going to practice doing some small group stuff together, uh, doing a group project. And I'm really excited. I can't wait to get into this. And uh, I'm excited that you are a smaller group of people because I feel like I can help you all a little bit better without having to be spread so thin. And uh, I'm really looking forward to doing this. And I can't wait to see uh, how this goes and where we end up. That being said, if you want to get a hold of me, email is always the best. Rowdy.Duncan at phoenixcollege.edu is the best way to get a hold of me. Um, you can also get a hold of me on Canvas, too. Uh, it's a good way to reach me as well. And then if you need to leave me a voicemail, uh, you can do that at my office phone. I get that visual voicemail so I can like listen to it wherever. Uh, that phone number is 602-285-7310. If you need to write that, to get, write that down, it's 602-285-7310. 7310. And again, my email address is rowdy.duncan at phoenixcollege.edu. R O W D Y dot Duncan, D U N C A N, at phoenixcollege.edu. But if you want to get a hold of me almost anytime, email outside of campus is usually the best way because I can respond to that email right away. In Canvas, I got to log in that I got to respond to you and stuff. So with that, um, I can't wait to get started. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, with that, um, I do put a lot of really great instructions in this class. Amy built it really well. And so if you're not understanding something, read the assignment, then reread the assignment. And if you're not understanding it, then reach out to me at first because she is available a little bit more often than I am. Uh, but you can reach out to me or me and Mia at the same time and either of us will get a hold of you as soon as we possibly can. And with that, I can't wait for you to get started in the class and welcome to Introduction to Human Communication. And I hope you really enjoy yourself. You learn some really great things in the class. Take care.